All right, let's look at how we could use a Kali VM to participate in one of SANS 573 or 673 capture the flags. So I'm gonna need a virtual environment. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to type make dir, and then I'm going to, in my home directory, create some directory where I'm gonna keep virtual environments. So I, I'll call these my VENVs or something like that. Okay, then the next thing we need to do is we need to run the command Python minus M V E N V and then point this at the directory we want to create for our virtual environment. So it would be something like this, uh, pi wars. But this is going to fail because Ubuntu, um, well, Debian distributions, of which Kali is one, removes this standard module from the distribution. So we have to take a couple of additional steps. We're, we're going to have to install this package, which is normally installed by default with Python. But before I can do that, I have to do a sudo um, apt, um, apt get update, right? And the password on Kali by default is Kali. And this is going to make sure that all of my packages, if this is the first time you're running Kali, that you've got a list of all of the latest packages that are available um, for installation. Uh, and this will include that Python 3 VENV module. Okay, now, <clears throat> once this is downloaded and I've got a list of all the packages, this is uh, checking for a list of available updates. Now I should be able to do a sudo apt install Python 3.11-VENV. All right, and this is going to allow me to install the virtual environment module, which again is default by um, on Python 3.4 and later, but has been removed from Debian because they want you to install things with apt. But um, I think apt is, is the wrong way to go on this, is my opinion. But here we go. Let's, let's go ahead and inst um, now create our virtual environment. So I'm going to go back up to this command here. I'm going to let that create that virtual environment. And all this really does is make a symbolic link to the Python interpreter and creates a folder structure for us. Now I have to run the source command to activate my virtual environment by going into the directory that I just created. Oh, typing is so hard. And then in the bin directory, there's an activate script. So I'll use the source command to type this. And you'll see that this changes my prompt and lets me know all right, I am in the PyWars virtual environment. Now I can use pip to install things and I'll install things and they'll be completely separate from the standard Python installation. So I don't have to worry about breaking Kali's instance um, of Python or, or installing conflicting versions of modules and things like that. So now to pip install, I'm going to pip install git plus HTTPS colon slash slash. Um, uh, what is it? It's GitHub. <laughs> dot com um, slash mark baggett um, slash pi wars and then i'm going to put an at version five and this is going to install um, this version of pi wars um, in the version five branch from my github repository All right, and once it does that, I should be able to type pi wars, and it prompts me for the pi wars question. I should be able to type Python, and then import pi wars. 